You're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now we just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. No, don't have the time to get off Tarsh yet. What have you been doing? <sighs> We're trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhnev. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the exactly. way of the real issues here. That exactly. That strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Uh... Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war. Your descendant would be well smacking here, you around, sure. lady. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. He's right. You aren't showing much later skip really right now, Beth. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Okay, so what now? I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's <laughs> troubling you. There's some reason where we first met, like a vision. Vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi Revan, I guess. This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of false sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the Force? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. This is... Hmm. This isn't the first time I had a vision. Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we oh, I'm sure they'll hold. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. They'll all be for that. Understand the significance of your vision. Especially oh, yeah, we'll the bald one. Oh, yeah. Brooke. Best if we all stand <laughs> hand right now. Her Before favorite one. Yay! I can't wait to see Brooke. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, Karth, how do you think of Miss Brad? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For another can. time. We can talk to him real quick. Oh, you want to? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. Okay. Yes, what's in your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. Your annoying you hair fringes. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I want to talk about these issues you seem to have with me. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You I am. my butt more than once. <laughs> I do. I to help me. No. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Why are you so hostile? What did I do to deserve this? You, uh... You haven't done anything yet, but there's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before by people, and I, well, it won't happen again. So you want some guarantees that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't Excuse have to take me? <laughs> Yeah, this will keep. Let's do the hair Yes, okay. you don't. Don't tell me not to take it personally, you hairless wacky. 
Careless Wookie. All right, sister, just 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 calm down before your head. <laughs> See whose head explodes? Your group of monkey. Oh, oh don't. Well, okay, don't tell me to calm down, you ignorant bantha. <laughs> Which one? Ignorant bantha. <laughs> Is that your idea of an insult? Come on, sister, take your best shot. Oh my gosh. I think Gamorian pig man. I think that one's funny. I think you hurt my man feelings with that one. Well, you that had it coming. coming. <laughs> well, I guess I did. Feel better? <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> right, well, then maybe we can talk reasonably about this. All I'm trying to say is this isn't personal. If you were smart, you wouldn't trust anyone either. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Uh, uh, so you don't trust yourself? Is that it? I don't need to analyze things. Let me just get back to business. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone? <laughs> because I'm you're bored. here what, and on board. We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to nope. get underway. I'm not nope. leaving you alone. No. Nope. Much to your dismay. <laughs> oh, Karth. <laughs> well, we annoyed Karth, so that was what I wanted to get done today. Hooray! Now it's time for us to fall over and sleep. <laughs> I agree. Anyways... Farewell, and on Good to night. more adventures. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>